In this video we're going to see how to list a Brightpulp product on eBay. It's just going to be a simple product, i.e. one product with no variants. So there are a number of steps required to creating an eBay listing. We need to have shipping profiles and listing profiles already in place and these can be used across multiple products so once you've created them you can use them again and again. All you need to do is select your product, choose your profiles, create a listing, preview it and publish it straight to eBay. So it's really simple. And the product we want to list on eBay is this Kona Caldera bike frame. So first of all I need to make sure I've got shipping and listing profiles. So let's go channels, eBay and settings, this little grey link up here. At the top of the screen we've got my eBay accounts which is what I can see at the moment and then we've got listing profiles and shipping profiles. We'll have separate videos to explain how to create these, so I'll just show you the ones that I already have. Let's have a look at the standard carrier profile. And here we can see our country, this is our eBay store country. Handling time, these are choices that are coming in from eBay. And then different shipping methods, I've got £5 here for other carrier, and there's various options I can choose, very similar to the ones you've probably seen in eBay. If I want to ship internationally, we can add international shipping methods too. So this is my standard carrier profile, which is what I'm going to use for that bike frame. I've also got some listing profiles. And here's one for bike frames. And you'd create a different listing profile for each type of product or each group of product. So each site that you list on needs its own set of profiles, because each site has got different categories and so on. You choose the country and the item location, your returns policy, whether you accept returns or not and various things like that, your PayPal and payment details. The price list here is chosen by the eBay channel, but if you really wanted to, you could set a different price list for this specific group of products. Once you've saved the profile, you can't change it. So for this listing profile, effectively you choose a category and the profiles typically list with different categories. So here I've chosen the eBay category sporting goods, cycling, bike frames. You can add multiple categories too if you want. I don't have a listing theme, the listing duration good to cancelled, condition of the item is new, and then I can choose whether to list all of my items or restricted quantities. More detail will be in the listing profiles video. I've actually chosen to map the Bright Pearl option of frame size to an eBay option which also is frame size and we can see here that in Brightpool 14 inch matches to the eBay value of 14 inch. There's a few other things here such as item specifics and you can add custom item specifics too and this profile is called bike frames. Great so we've got our shipping profile, we've got our listing profile and all we need to do now is choose these when we list the product. So let's search for our frame and there are two ways to list this product. We can either select the product here and add or remove from channels, so you could do that in batch, or we can actually go into the product and list it from there. Whilst we're in the product, we can just check that it's got everything we need, specifically a description and images. So to upload images, we just click this little link here, import images from URL, paste our URL in, and then import images. And then when this product is listed on eBay, we'll push those images up to eBay. The last tab here, you can see we've got an eBay listings tab. So let's create a new listing for this product. We choose the account, we choose our listing profile, here's bike frames, choose our shipping profile, standard carrier, and continue. Okay, so it's created a draft listing. However, it can't be listed on eBay because we don't yet have any inventory for this product. So I'm just going to save this product and go and add some inventory. Let's say we have two. If we now go to our eBay listing screen, we'll see a draft listing. At the bottom of the screen here, an incomplete draft. What we can do is we can actually go into this listing, make any changes to the listing we want. So perhaps if we wanted to add extra information we could do, 
but you can see here that all the information has been copied in from our listing profile. So if we just save this draft, it's now been marked as a draft listing, so it's ready to go up to eBay, and eBay is suggesting that it's going to cost us 40 pence to actually list this product. All we need to do to list it on eBay is hit publish. The listing is now published. If we go channels and view our eBay listings, we can see at the bottom of the screen we've now got a listing ID. Clicking that will take us to the eBay listing. And there we go. Very simple to list your Brightpile product on eBay. And that takes us to the end of the video of listing simple products on eBay.